the way to install mods has changed. So let's cover it from beginning to end. Netcasts you love from people you trust. This is Twit. Video and audio bandwidth provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This episode of OMG Craft is brought to you by Man Packs, manly goods on a schedule. Get started today and have underwear, socks, toiletries, shaving supplies, and more delivered to your door. Visit manpacks.com slash twit to get $10 off your first order of $30 or more, or buy a $50 gift card for $40. And welcome to OMG Craft. I am your host, Chad Johnson. So first off, let me talk to you about mods. Yes, we have already done an episode about modding your Minecraft client, but that was way back when we were on Minecraft 1.5.0 whatever. So this is a new and updated version for Minecraft 1.6. We have received tons of email from you guys wanting us to retouch on this topic. So there are a few other tools you will need when modding your Minecraft game, but all of these tools should be free and from trusted sources, so just follow our direction. First, uh, before we actually get into modifying the game, I want to cover what you're actually doing. What we will be doing is cracking open the master file of Minecraft. This is a file that has tons of other little files that make up the program of the game. These are called class files. When you modify the game, you are actually changing these class files, therefore changing the game. In this tutorial, we're gonna cover both on the Mac and the PC, but in the last video, we ran through installing these at the same time, which was a little bit confusing to some people. So we're gonna do the PC first and then the Mac second. Go ahead and run Minecraft for the first time if you haven't. That'll make sure that your current version of Minecraft is uh, downloaded and installed. Go ahead and hit your Windows key, then type in percent app data percent, and this will drop you into your roaming app data folder. Go find the .minecraft folder, and in here, go ahead and find the versions folder. Find your current version of Minecraft. We are gonna be working with 1.6.2. Go ahead and grab that folder, copy it, and paste it. You're basically just duplicating this folder. Go ahead and rename this to whatever you want this to show up when you add a new profile in Minecraft. We're gonna name this 1.6.2 modded. Go ahead and enter into this folder. And here you have a jar and a JSON file. Go ahead and name your jar the same thing that you named your folder before. In the JSON file, same thing, rename this. Go ahead and open up the JSON file and uh, change the ID from what it used to be, 1.6.2, and add what you named your file. Now, back out of that, go ahead and save it, and open up this Minecraft jar. We are going to use a program called 7-Zip. This allows you to just go ahead and open that file without doing anything. It is wonderful. Hopefully you have a mod that you want to install. We are going to be choosing the Death Chest mod. So I have it over here. I've already downloaded it from the internet. Go ahead and open up that zip and copy over the class files into this jar. Once again, we are modifying class files. This is modifying the game. There is one final step. You have to go find the meta.inf folder inside of this jar and go ahead and delete it. What this is is a signature from Mojang, the creators of Minecraft, uh, that have said this is what the file should look like and if it's been changed, don't open this file. But of course we've changed it, so we wanna delete that file. Go ahead and save this in 7-Zip and go ahead and run Minecraft. Now, you need to go ahead and make a profile for uh, the modded version of the client. We're gonna do that at the end of the episode because it's the exact same on the Mac and the PC. Next, let's go into the Mac version. But first, 
Man packs. I love man packs because I hate going from site to site, reading reviews in hopes of finding a product that is good for me to order. On top of that, I'm always forgetting to get my new guy supplies, but with man packs, everything is handled for me. Every product product is tried and guy approved by man packs. No duds, just pure win. Update your next pack when you need something new or just wait for it to come every three months. There are two exclusive offers for you, the Twit and OMG Craft listener. So visit manpacks.com slash twit and either you can save $10 off your first order of $30 or more, or you can buy Man Packs for a friend, get a $50 gift card for 40 bucks. So head on over to manpacks.com slash twit and get started today. And we thank Man Packs for their support of OMG Craft. So we need to navigate to the Minecraft folder. So if you're on your Finder application, go up to the Go menu at the top of the window and hold down Alt and Library will magically appear there. Go ahead and click that. Then in Application Support, navigate to the M's to find Minecraft. And then we are gonna go down here to Versions. In here, you will have all of the different versions of Minecraft. You can see that I've modded stuff before. I'm going to go ahead and delete these. And this is the current version of Minecraft. I'm going to go ahead and copy it and paste it. Or on the Mac, you can do this cool duplicate feature. I'm going to name this what I want this to show up on my Minecraft client. So let's do this modded. I'm going to go ahead and copy that. Jump inside, and you have a jar and a JSON file. Go ahead and rename your jar. Go ahead and rename your JSON file. Go ahead and edit the JSON. I'm going to use Sublime Text to do this uh, because it's free and I just really like the, uh, the interface. Go ahead and paste that in there and save that out, close out of that. Now in here, you can use a, uh, a thing called BetterZip, but this costs around $10. So I'm going to show you how to do it without it. Go ahead and change this to zip. And it will say, do you want to use jar or zip? Go ahead and choose zip. Then you can unzip this, and now you have a folder. Go ahead and open up this folder. Uh, navigate to the mod that you downloaded before. So I have to go into my downloads. This is the death chest mod, which we're using. Uh, and it, it just has this single class in here. So I'm going to drop this class into the jar that I opened up and replace, yes. Now, uh, of course, you have to delete the meta.inf. This is the signature from Mojang saying nothing has been futz with, but we have futz with it, so go ahead and delete that. Grab everything. I just used uh, Apple A to select all of the class files. Go ahead and right-click and choose Compress. Uh, the Compress 1,561 items, <laughs> and it will give you the bottom of the list down here, uh, an archive. So here we Let's just search for archive. There it is, Fine. found it. Okay, here we are, here's your archive. Go ahead and copy that, and we're gonna move out of this folder. You can do that by right clicking at the top here. Uh, and now we're here. I'm gonna go ahead and paste this. Now we've created a whole bunch of files. This was our original uh, jar right here, then we unarchived it. We're actually gonna delete both of these because I'm, I'm showing off the way to do this without spending any money. So. There's easier ways to do this, but this way is free. We're going to go ahead and copy that name, rename this, that, and then instead of zip, make this a jar. And yes, we do want to use jar. And there we go. So from right here, everything is the same. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and do this on the Mac side of things. So if you're coming over from the PC how to mod, this is where you start to watch uh, how it's done. So when you're here in Minecraft, go ahead and choose new profile. You don't have to do this, but I like to do it to keep track of what has been modified and what hasn't. So we're just going to name this OMG Chad modded. And then under here, use latest version. You actually now have your modded version, which you have created. Go ahead and click Save Profile. We can go ahead and play. And if we did everything correctly, Minecraft should launch. I'm going to go ahead and open up this single player world. And I have a death world. Let me go ahead and make this large. And there we go. Now, the idea behind this mod that I downloaded, I'm just going to test it out real fast to make sure that I did everything right, is that when I die, it will put all of my items into a chest. So I'm just going to go ahead and drown uh, right here. This is not advised, uh, kids. Uh, this is not what you should do. But 
uh, if you're actually playing Minecraft. Um, now, one thing to mention is you have to have a chest in your inventory or this will not work. Um, it just doesn't magically create a chest. You have to always carry a chest in your inventory. And then a chest will be placed down with all of your items in it so that the five minute despawn uh, doesn't actually happen. So let's go see if I can go find that chest. Okay, and there it is. This is my chest and it has all of the items in it. So you can see that this modification of Minecraft is working. An extra tip for you is to actually change the directory that Minecraft uses for the profile that has your modded game in it. And I'll make sure that absolutely everything is saved to a completely different folder, uh, which is really easy to keep track of your modifications of Minecraft. Also remember that when naming the file and the JSON file and the jar file, try to avoid slashes that might screw up your recording session of OMG Craft if you add slashes to the name. Uh, and then finally, if you're trying to layer mods on top of each other, it can get a little bit confusing because these mods are changing class files. But let's say two mods need to change the inventory class file or something like that. They could actually overwrite each other. And that's why if you're really going to get into modifying your game an awful lot, I would suggest something like Magic Launcher or uh, MC Patcher to sort of mitigate all of those modifications. And then we haven't even gotten into Forge, which is a modding API, which allows you to do all sorts of crazy stuff. So just remember, if you're getting into the world of modding, there is a lot to cover. And this is just the start of modifying your Minecraft game. Thank you so much for watching this episode of OMG Craft. You can subscribe to future episodes at twit.tv slash OMG Craft. If you have some feedback that you'd like to send our way, feel free to send us some email at mail at omgcraft.com. We're also on Twitter, so follow the show at OMG Craft Show. Thank you so much for watching this episode. See you next time. Bye.